Three months ago, I asked AI how to beat Minecraft, and ChatGPT told me to get full diamond armor before even going to the nether, and there was a bunch of other craziness that happened with that. But now, I want to ask AI how to build a trap, so that when we log on to Hoplite, we can try to trap players. Let's see how this works. Can you me a trap for Minecraft 1.20.1? Okay, we have all of this, and... Let's try to build that in Minecraft. So the first step is to decide where you want to build a trap, so... I think we have our spot picked out. So now we need to build the walls and ceiling of our trap. So let's just do that with like stone bricks. Doesn't specify how many walls we need. So I'm just gonna go with two. So we have that. Now install pressure plates or tripwire hooks. Um, I'm gonna go with tripwire hooks. We can place them up here like that. Now we have to connect our tripwire hooks to redstone dust. So I guess those will go there. And then position dispensers along the walls of your trap. I guess like that. Now we have to take a lava bucket and place them within each dispenser. Now we need to test our trap. Oh, that... Okay, that worked. <laughs> Our trap works. Yo, crazy. Okay. Now we have to complete the trap by enclosing the top. I think I think that's good. And consider adding warning signs or other indicators to alert players to the presence of the trap. This can add an element of strategy to your trap and make it more engaging for players. You start to lava trap cautiously, whether in single player or multiplayer mode. Remember that traps can be dangerous, so be careful not to accidentally trigger them on yourself. Enjoy watching unsuspecting players or mobs fall victim to your devious creation. The uh, I, I guess we have to build this on Hoplite. <laughs> we need to get a bunch of stone bricks. Just to make it look as natural as possible. <laughs> yeah, very natural. Ooh, we could build it right here. Like, in, in this wall. So let's go in there. Our redstone dust. Boom. Tripwire hooks place our dispensers to place lava in those. Well, I'm gonna make it one block wide because we're on a budget and not because I ran out of lava. Definitely not for that reason. We need to alert the people coming in, so not a trap. Yeah, it's not a trap, guys. Let's place our string and it's primed. I just got test if it works. Yep, that works. <laughs> I don't know why ChatGPT made me do this. Just craft the diamond sword. But for this trap to even work, we need to wait and wait and wait even longer <laughs> because this trap is definitely not a trap and people will for some reason won't go into it like i don't get why it's kind of weird i have an idea i'm gonna go out and try to find people and then lure them in that direction <sighs> oh no don't chase me you're not gonna fall for my not a trap No! Why would- No! You broke my trap! No! How could you do that? You're so mean. I'm very angry at you. The fact that he could break my trap. Oh, He's a disgrace. Dude, why did he break my trap? Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh no. No, my own lava! Oh. That, that, that. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to ask ChatGPT how to build the pitfall trap. <laughs> Can you give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the pitfall trap? Of course, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a pitfall trap in Minecraft 1.20.1. .1. Really quick, can I just clarify that that's like the dumbest thing that's ever, <laughs> I've ever done? <laughs> oh my gosh. So we have to plan our trap location. I think that's going to be right here. So the second step is to dig a pit. So I'm just going to do a two-by-two -two hole down like 30 or so blocks like that but, but there will be drips at the bottom so it doesn't really matter so we're gonna add tripwire hooks like there now we have to wire our tripwire hooks so i i guess we'll just do like signs and like block there so if we place our signs you ready boom now we have to place dispensers around the edges of the pit facing inward there 
and make sure to fill them with harmful items like arrows or potions. Oh my gosh, what is this? So we can like place that and then we can add water at the bottom because it'll prevent them from climbing out and add a drowning hazard. <sighs> So I'm gonna do what the AI says. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drown. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't swim. That's terrible. So now it's time to test the trap. Oh, whatever could this be? This doesn't look like a trap. Ah, uh, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> No, I'm stuck. Oh, this is... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna drown. I, I can't get out of here because... Because the very handsome contraptionator decided to make it so it's hard to get out of the thing because there's a drowning hazard at the bottom. No! I, I, I guess it's time to build it on... On Hoplite. Okay. Let's just try to get everything we really need. We already have the piston and stuff. We just need to get tripwire hooks and other stuff. Oh, this is... Gonna take a bit <laughs> and also one of the problems that we had with the last trap was that they didn't go in for some reason like even though clearly said it isn't a trap like i don't know why they didn't go in to try to get the chest it just seems kind of counterintuitive to me we have to place down the dispensers but filling them is optional so i'm just not gonna fill the dispensers because i'm uh, too lazy for that we want to make sure they drown so we don't want the sand to fall fall down and get caught so we're gonna do a little bit of that oh this does need to be like drownable so. oh crap i'm gonna die oh no now our thing is right there so you can make the tripwire go right there boom redstone two three four that is not built correctly now we can place a sign outside like this wasn't said like in the thing but i just want to make sure that we're following all the steps boom we're crazy at this yeah okay i just updated the sign that looks I don't think ChatGPT likes it when I try to build a trap. Well, I guess this is what happens when you ask ChatGPT to build a trap for you. So, ChatGPT, should everybody watching this video subscribe? As an AI, I don't have access to the content of the video you're referring to, so I can't make a specific recommendation. However, whether someone should subscribe to a video or channel depends on their interests, the quality of the content, and whether they want to receive updates from that creator in the future. If the video provides valuable or entertaining content that aligns with the viewer's preferences, then subscribing might be a good idea. Ultimately, it's up to the individual viewer to decide if subscribing is worthwhile for them.